Assalamu alaikum in this video we will master hypnotics and sedative drugs following are the landmarks of today's lecture so let's get started sedatives these are the seenest depressant drugs this slows down the brain activity and causes drowsiness and laziness next anxiety drugs they reduces the anxiety we will discuss it along antidepressant drugs third come hypnotics the other name is sleeping pills these are the psychoactive drugs that induces the sleep now coming towards the classification there are five different classes of drugs first class of drug is benzodiazepine we further divided into short intermediate and long acting benzodiazepine to easily memorize its example we have a simple mnemonic for you guys that is tom steel chlorofluorocarbon drug here t stand for triazepam oxazepam midazolam ignoring the s and starting from t temazepam estazolam alprazolam lorazepam clorazepam florazepam and diazepam our next class of drugs is benzodiazepine antagonist for example flumazenil third class of drug is barbiturate like benzodiazepine barbiturates are also divided into short intermediate and long acting barbiturates the mnemonic come here is tap bp thiopental amobarbital pentabarbital beta barbital and phenobarbital in last class we have miscellaneous drugs the mnemonic come here is bruce baspiron remaltion or exin antagonist and zolpidem before going into details of drug first we will discuss gaba and gaba receptors gaba is the inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain it binds to gaba receptor and decreases the activity of target cell gaba receptors they are further divided into three types gaba a b and c gaba a and c these are ligand gated gaba receptors after binding of transmitter chloride channels open chloride move inside the cell hyperpolarization occur and the action potential decreases gaba b acts through g protein coupling mechanism resulting in the opening of potassium channels potassium ions move out and again hyperpolarization occur gaba a is further divided into five subunits two alpha two beta and one gaba subunit different drugs binds to specific subunit performing the specific function now we will discuss each of the drug in detail first come benzodiazepine it works by binding to gaba a receptor at the junction between alpha and gaba subunit it opens ligand gated chloride channels chloride ions move inside the cell they causes the hyperpolarization and decreases the action potential we use benzodiazepines in sleep and muscular disorders in seizures as the anticonvulsants in anxiety disorders as the anxiolytics and sedatives benzodiazepine causes various side effects the easy mnemonic for side effect is acd in medical terms acd means anemia of chronic disease but here we use it as a mnemonic a stands for ataxia c for confusion cognitive impairment d is for drowsiness and dependence dependency is the most important side effect of benzodiazepines when used in excess we can manage the overdose of benzodiazepine by using benzodiazepine antagonist that is flumazenil flumazenil also causes some side effects like vomiting agitation nausea and dizziness you can memorize it by the mnemonic of van d coming towards the next class of drug that is the barbiturate its mechanism of action is same as that of benzodiazepine with only difference is that benzodiazepine increases the frequency of opening of chloride channel while the barbiturate increases the duration of opening of chloride channel mnemonic for its uses is autonomic nervous system ANS here A stands for anesthesia in neonatal jaundice it decreases the liver enzyme glucuronidryl transferase to decreases the serum bilirubin level and treat jaundice it is also used in epileptic seizures anxiety and sleep disorders in epileptic seizures phenobarbital is the drug of choice mnemonics for its side effect is take vitamin and nutrient rich diet it causes tremors vertigo addiction potential nausea and drowsiness next class of drug is baspiron it works by acting on serotonin receptors decreasing the action of serotonin it is used in chronic treatment of general anxiety disorder at higher concentration it causes headache dizziness nervousness and nausea fourth class of drug is melatonin receptor agonist for example remaltion and desmaltion they work by binding to melatonin receptors mimicking the action of melatonin they are used as hypnotic drugs to induce the sleep in fifth class we have orexin antagonist orexin is a peptide found in the hypothalamus and is involved in wakefulness for example severexant 
in last class we have near hypnotics for example zolpidem and zeliplon they work by acting on alpha 1 subunit of gaba receptors and are responsible for the induction of sedation and sleep that's the end of my today's lecture hope you enjoyed this video see you in next one